Hello folks, Duke here from GeoFolx. Today we're going to work on selecting and exporting at the same time. So say we want to just select Hawaii here. What we can do is we can right click on the feature class, open up the attribute table and just determine what are the ways that we can select Hawaii by an attribute. And this particular geo database here has the name of the state. So we can find if Hawaii is listed by name. And then we can determine, okay, it is. So then we can select it and export it to a new feature. So once we've done that and we want to export it, we'll right click on the feature. We'll go to data export features. So we'll give it a name under output name. We'll keep the input features the same. And under output location, you'll save it to where you want it saved. So under expressions is where we'll make our selection. So we'll pick name is equal to, and then we'll search for Hawaii. After we've made our selection, we can hit OK. So this is just a simple example of how you can export features and then select at the same time. And so now if we turn off the original feature class, now we have a new feature class that just consists of Hawaii itself. So moving to a different example for reference, say we want to select and export states based on size to a new feature class. Perhaps we want to select states that have an area over 50,000 square miles. And so we have an area attribute already calculated. And so we want to use an expression to select these states. So we'll give it a name and we'll save it to the output location of our choice. And the expression will say, okay, area is greater than 50,000. And we can see in a new large state feature class we just created, it selected the states with areas greater than 50,000 square miles. So this is just another example of how we can select and export at the same time Hey folks, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content.